Don't dangle anything shiny in front of her. Hey there, chickadee. How are you doing today? Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we are Two Real Chicks. Today we're bringing you some tips and tricks for hooded eyes. Now, I was born with hooded eyes and with small eyes. Been that way my whole life. And as I've gotten older, I get more hooded. And as I gain more weight, my eyes appear smaller. So I'm always looking for tips and tricks to kind of make my eyes pop and bring them out a little bit more. And that's what we're sharing with you today. And that starts right now. <laughs> What's that magic? I have little magic tools, little magic tools. This is really simple. You're going to need just a few things. So let's get started. I'm going to start by lining my bottom waterline and I'm going to use a white pencil instead of a black or dark pencil. So I'm just going to go in and just line that bottom waterline. I'm not being particularly neat about it right now. I need one of those. Who makes that one? This is a NYX. This is the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. I really like this one. I also really like the Rimmel Coal Pencil in Nude. Both of these are really great. It just depends on how stark of an effect that you want. But I like both of these because they glide on easily. They actually stay in place and they don't irritate my eyes. You will have to get me some of that. This is a great, great pencil. I never had one. So you're just gonna pull down and just line that bottom waterline. Not being particularly neat because I'm going to clean it up in just a minute. What this does is it works with the whites of your eyes to create an illusion of it being bigger. Same with the nude pencil. Whereas when you put a black or a dark pencil in there, it closes it and makes it look smaller. Now I'm going to take a brown eyeliner this particular one is from Almay. I use this one because it's hypoallergenic and it's good for sensitive eyes, but you can use your favorite. You can even use eyeshadow or powder, but whatever your eyeliner is, take your favorite. Now what I'm going to do is go on that outer half of my eye. And the reason I'm doing the outer half is because if I pull it all the way in, it's going to close off that eye again. So by keeping it on the outer part of the eye, we're opening it up and we're lifting it up at the same time. And that can be a good thing for hooded eyes too. So I'm just taking it about a half to three quarters of the way in, but not all the way in. It's just all about the color and the placement. Now for mascara. If you are lucky enough to have lashes, which I do not have, this is going to make a huge difference. Looks ashamed. As you should. Look at those lashes. They're uh -huh. real. They're real. They, they's my actuals. Well, these are my actuals too. I bought and paid for them, so they're <laughs> mine. <laughs> so what you're going to do is focus that mascara on the outer part of your lashes. Again, the purpose for that is to lift that outer part, making the eye look more awake, more alert, and more open. Whereas coming all the way in, you're closing that eye off again. So everything is pretty much focused on that outer half of the eye, both the liner and the mascara. So just using your favorite mascara, again, I'm using an Almay one again. But there is no magic mascara. It's whatever your magic mascara is. A girl can never have too much mascara. Pulling that mascara up on the outer part of the eye. I like to go in and use the tip and just get on the tips of the lashes because that really helps in opening up that eye too. And again, if you have lashes, this is going to make a huge difference for you. It's difficult to see it on me because I have no lashes. And the same with the bottom. You're going to focus on that outer half. That's really opening up. So there you go. You can see that's starting to open up. Definitely a difference 
between when we first started. But if you really want to add a powerful punch, which I do because again, I have no lashes, I have a false lash on this eye and I'm going to go ahead and put a false lash on this other eye. The trick to that is going to be to trim your lashes just right because again, we're focusing on that outer part. I'm going to trim these pretty far in actually. I'm going to take a pretty good chunk off. Now it looks like a spider. I want to take just a little bit more off. I'm going to take a pretty good amount. Now when I put this lash on this morning, it was perfect. I mean, no struggling, no fighting, just poop, one shot, and it was done. Can she do it again on camera? Let's yes. see. Well, not when it's sticking to my finger, I can't. Take two. That could be a sign though that your glue is not dry enough. One of the tricks to getting your lashes on well is making sure that that glue is tacky and a little bit on the dry side. It ain't gonna happen like it did off camera. <laughs> Taking a little bit of glue on our lashes. We are going to pray and hope for the best. I think you got it. I think it's stuck to my finger. Nope, it didn't stick to my finger. Oh, wait a minute, we might. Whoop, whoop. And check me out. All right, let that dry just a little bit. And you wanna smush it with your own lashes to seal it in place. Just take your finger and pinch it against your own lashes to get that glue nice and sealed. Let it dry just a little bit. Beautiful. And then we have one more trick though oh. to open those eyes. One more trick to get those eyes looking really open and bright and alert and awake. Take your finger and push that lash straight up. Push it straight up. Oh, look at that. Can you see the difference that made? Just opens that eye right up. Boom, instant lift, instantly bigger. Just pushing those lashes straight up. Might as well push this one up while we're at it. And there you go. Beautiful. Look how wide eyed you are. So we'll put a before picture and an after picture and you decide for yourself. Is this a trick that you think is worth the trouble? Wow. Wow. Can you at least see my eyes now? Whereas sometimes they just look like two little slits in my head. At least you can see them now. And if you have natural lashes of your own, it will pop even more. Especially with that white or nude color eyeliner down there. I'm gonna get me some of that. That is really the key trick. Between the eyeliner color and focusing on that outer part, that's what's going to make your eyes pop, look more open, bigger, wide awake, and frankly, more youthful. And aren't we always looking for that? Yes, we are. So we hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more tips and tricks and you liked what you saw, give us a big old thumbs up, will you? We sure would appreciate that. That helps us out too, so that we can bring you more videos of what you want to see. If you have some other tips and tricks you'd like us to show you, put it down in the comments oh, section. Damn. Yeah, yeah. But on your way down, there's a subscribe button. It's a red button. You can't miss it. Just click that button. And next to that button is a bell. Beep. And if you click that bell, you will get notified each time we upload a video. Who knows what tips and tricks we're going to come up with next. Who knows what's going to come out of our mouth next. That's true, too. That's very true. We thank you so much for joining us today. It always makes our day that much more special when you come and join us. So we hope that you'll come back. And by the way, let's say hello to many of our new subscribers. We have new subscribers. Hi, we thank, thank you. you for being here. Whether you're new or you've been with us from day one, we do appreciate you from the bottom of our hearts. And until next time, I'm Carla. I'm Cindy. And we love you. Mwah. Bye. Bye.